public sector assets of a company called Advances. We invited the 70 key and topmost members of the company we bought into a leadership meeting about a month after we bought it. And we simply showed them the results. We showed them the results of the base saber, and then we showed them the results over the past two or three years. And we just asked them how they believed that this was acceptable. And we laid out a roadmap for that. We called it the seven deadly sins. These are simply excuses we believe that we've been seeing in the business that prevented success. And what was the biggest surprise was how once this was laid out in front of them, and once they were asked to achieve a certain goal, and once high expectations were set for them, you know, you always hear it, but it was very nice to watch people just step up and, and just hit home run after home run. People really do want to accomplish a lot in their careers. And I think when you don't ask a lot of them, you're actually doing your own employees in service. So that was very surprising how quickly we turned those as well. Our judgment of success is we look at the end of the year, and if we've had happy clients who are happier to be with us than they were with prior members, if you've got happy employees, if you've got employees telling us they're happier to work at Sabre than they have been at any point in life, and we made a profit, then we think we've had a good year. And all three of those things are very, very important. So while we can set growth goals in any particular year, if we don't meet that growth goal, it's not the end of the world for us. It's just, it's just you know, we tried, we tried our best, but what's level setting for us, if you will, is customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, and profitability of the company. Because without profitability, you can neither be good to your employees nor be good to your customers, I think. Within our industry, uh, 